business. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent to address the Senate's morning business for less than 15 minutes. Without objection. Mr. President, thank you very much. Uh, first, let me address uh, legislation that uh, passed the Senate to earlier this evening. Uh, the sustainable growth rate uh, is such an important issue to the people of Kansas. I come from a state in which uh, senior citizens um, are a, a, a very prevalent uh, portion of our population. And access to health care is so dependent upon whether or not Medicare reimburses a physician or a hospital, a home health care agency, a, a nursing home in an adequate amount. And I fear that in the absence of that adequate Medicare reimbursement, we will see a lot fewer doctors and hospital doors close. And so I've been an advocate. In fact, I, I never voted to create the sustainable growth rate. And I suppose I should explain what that is. In the broadest of terms, what it means is that there's a formula that ultimately reduces the reimbursement that a physician receives under Medicare. And it's uh, become a very dramatic thing. Uh, this year, I believe it's around 24% reduction that will occur uh, April the 1st, uh, tomorrow, uh, if the sustainable growth rate formula is not altered. The reality is that Congress has altered that formula to avoid those reductions because we know when a health care provider is not compensated in a way that covers the cost of providing the service, most likely we're going to have fewer health care providers. Hospitals will not be there, physicians will no longer be in practice, and particularly in areas of our country that are rural where a significant, again, portion of the population are senior citizens whose medical bills are paid in part through Medicare. My discouragement, my dissatisfaction is once again, I think the Senate has demonstrated its dysfunction by passing a very short-term fix to this long-term problem. And if history is any indication, we'll be back a year from now in the same predicament. We've made alterations uh, 16 times previously. This is the 17th time in which we've done a short-term fix to a long-term problem. And to me, it's one more symptom of our inability as a Senate to function in a way that benefits the American people, in this case, patients that are served by physicians who will be harmed. In many instances across Kansas, our hospitals are now employers of physicians, and so they've entered into a contract with a physician, and uh, when the reimbursement rate for the physician is reduced, it means less revenue to the hospital, a tighter squeeze on many hospitals that are barely hanging on by a thread. And I wanted to uh, express my appreciation to Senator Wyden, the chairman of the Finance Committee, for his efforts to find a long-term solution, a permanent repeal of the SGR, and again express my willingness to him and to others to work with Democrats in the Senate, to work with Republicans in the Senate to find the necessary numbers of us who will come together to support legislation that would permanently end the SGR, and that we would not be then asked a few months from now to come back once again to solve a problem. We know the problem is there. We know we'll have to find a solution. Uh, the consequences of failing are so great, but we were unwilling to take the necessary steps today to pass a permanent repeal, an elimination of the SGR formula. And again, to Senator Wyden, uh, he and I have had conversations since last Thursday about my willingness to have conversations with Republican members of the Senate to find the necessary votes to pass legislation for a permanent repeal. And I express that offer again to Senator Wyden that we're still interested in doing that, that the country, its uh, health care providers and their patients deserve better than what we were able to do today.